your writing is a necessary, though difficult, step in the writing process. In this lesson, you'll practice editing for appropriate word choice. Finding just the right word to convey your meaning can be difficult as you write. That's why revising for word choice is such a good idea. Once you finish wrestling with getting your words down on paper, you should be ready to refine your writing using the following steps. Step one is probably the most important one for word choice. Avoid using anything but standard English. Look to see if you have any slang or idiomatic phrases in your writing and revise if you do. Let's practice by choosing which sentence, A or B, is the better choice because it has standard English instead of slang. Pause the video to decide. When you are finished, restart the video. Letter A has slang, but B does not. So B uses the most appropriate words to convey the idea. Step two is to use specific words to convey your ideas. So avoid words like things and stuff. Also, most instructors do not allow second person you because the word is often used incorrectly to refer to anyone or someone. Let's practice by choosing which sentence, A or B, is the better choice because it has more specific information. Pause the video as you decide. When you are finished, restart the video. Letter A has the best word choice because B uses things and a lot. Step three is one all new college students should remember. Teachers love it when students try out new vocabulary in their writing. However, instructors do not like it when their students use words they don't know just to sound smart. So avoid going to the dictionary just to impress your teachers. Instead, try to use the words you've read in your textbook or learned in class. If you do go to the dictionary, make sure you correctly use the words you choose. Let's practice by choosing which sentence, A or B, has the better word choice because the words are correctly used. Pause the video to read the choices and restart when you are finished. Letter B is a far more effective sentence because though there are no big words here, each word in the sentence is used correctly. Letter A has poor word choice because besides being too wordy, conceptualized is used incorrectly. The final step is to establish your credibility as a writer by avoiding language that may offend or is unfair, by avoiding overused cliches, and by avoiding words and spelling that you may use when you text. Remember that academic writing is formal writing. Let's practice one last time by reading these three pairs of sentences. In each pair, one sentence has poor word choice and one sentence has appropriate word choice. Pause the video to read each pair and determine which one is the better choice. Restart the video when you are finished. Letter B in the first set has the most appropriate word choice because the language is inoffensive. Calling Mr. Frank a fool is an unfair characterization that diminishes the writer, not Mr. Frank. In the second set, letter A avoids the cliched phrase, in today's society. Teachers hate that one. In the final set, the text speech LOL is unnecessary and distracting. Letter A is therefore a better sentence.
Now that you've practiced editing for word choice, you're ready to move on to the next lesson. Thank you.